Miss Emery. Yes. Happy Valentine's Day. Keep your voice down. Why? Everybody knows it. No, it's my souffle. I just took it out of the oven, and I don't want it to collapse. Oh. Well, you're going to have to sign for the flowers. Oh, fine. Thank you. I'm sorry. I forgot my pencil. No, oh, well, come on in. I'll get one. Cold today, huh? Oh, would you like some hot coffee? Oh, no, thanks. Okay. I'll get the pencil. No, no coffee breaks on Valentine's Day. Too busy delivering everybody's love and kisses and candy and flour. Where do I sign? Oh, right here. You know what it's guilt. The rest of the year, the whole world hates it. It's push, shove, bite, kick, hit. It's a jungle of humanity. But today, it's I love you, you love me. I forgot my book. Oh, that's okay. When you find it, feel free to sign my name. Now, yeah. where's the card? Oh, your wife shouldn't be the other way around. What do you mean? 364 days a year. I love you, you love me. Then one day a year, bite, kick, scratch, hit. I forgot the card. Well, at least you didn't forget the flowers. What kind are they? Roses. Roses? Oh, I'm allergic to them. I'll start sneezing. Get them out of here. Put them in the refrigerator. In the refrigerator? In the refrigerator. <laughs> and hurry, hurry, I'll throw them if I sneeze. Close the door gently. Some poor guy blew 20 bucks on that girl. or yell. so I could surprise you with a really chic hors d'oeuvre on Valentine's Day. And then outside of a bus backfired, and the first one went... And then, then I sneezed, and the next one went... And this one, I am not taking any chances with. Well, just a minute. What about the champagne? Can't you stifle the cork? Well, why don't I go home and open it and then come back? What time is it? 8.17. Oh, no. It's ready now. Now or never. <laughs> Beauty. <laughs> it's not a joy forever. All right, honey. All right, now, don't, don't get upset. It's the thought that counts. As long as we're going out for dinner, we'll go out for hors d'oeuvres, too. But I wanted you to have souffle. But it's dead. I'll whip up another one. No, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. 
we're going out. I'm taking my Valentine out on Valentine's Day. Okay. By the way, didn't you get my flowers? Oh, yes, Donald. Thank you. They're beautiful. Where are they? They're in the refrigerator. Why? Well, so they won't wilt. And I won't sneeze. Anyway, that's only half the surprise I had for you for Valentine's Day. I hope you like it. Of course I'll like it. Be my Valentine. Thank you, honey. It's really not much. It's more of a thought than a gift. It's a great thought, and it'll be a great gift. <laughs> I really hope you like it. Oh, honey, what a great tie clip. Really? Do you really like it? I love it. I'll put it in the refrigerator with the roses. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, darling. But by the way, the flowers were only half a surprise also. Oh, Donald. Thank you, Donald. I hope you didn't do anything crazy. No. I hope it didn't cost a lot of money. A few dollars. I'd be mad if it did. I'd love it, but I'd be mad. <laughs> oh, Donald! Just like the ones we saw in Tiffany's. Those are the ones we saw in Tiffany's. You're kidding! <gasps> Real diamonds! <laughs> oh, Donald. Oh, oh, they're gorgeous. You like them? Oh, I love them. You said they only cost a few dollars. Every month for 90 years. No, sir. No, 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 no. No, no, I'm not allowing you to spend that honey, much money. Honey, I bought these for the pleasure of giving them to you. Oh, but Don... No buts. Now go get your things. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. Where are we gonna go? First stop, the roof garden, and then... Wait a minute, where are they? What? The earrings. Oh, Donald, don't, don't worry about them. I hid them in a very safe place. What do you mean? Well, when you have something that beautiful and that valuable, you put them where you won't lose them. But, honey, what's the point of having them if you're not going to wear them? Oh, Donald, just knowing I have them. But I'd like to see them. Well, they're in the third drawer under my socks. Well, honey, this is ridiculous. Even if you lose them, they're insured. The insurance company would replace them. Well, that wouldn't be the same. Those are the ones you gave me. They have a special meaning. So? So? The replacement would be from an insurance man I hardly know. And if you never wear them again, wear them tonight. Oh, but don't. No, I'm putting my foot down. You go out with me tonight, you do not go out bare-eared. Bare-eared? All right, Donald. But if anything happens to those earrings, I'll never forgive you for making me wear such a fabulous and expensive gift. Honey, that's why I gave them to you. Well... And I'll never forgive you for giving me such a fabulous and expensive gift. <laughs> well, how was it? Oh, it was delicious. <laughs> honey, honey, will you please leave your ears alone? Well, you watch them. Are they still there? Yes. Are you sure? When you chew, your ears move. I can see them sparkle. Thank you. Chateau Pouillac, 1953. Premier cru, magnifique. Ah! Fine, fine, just good. Good, very good. Très bien, monsieur. Yes, please. Thank you. Thank you. To my Valentine. And to mine. Never angry. Annoyed? No. 
Miffed? You were at least miffed. Okay, maybe. But you know how long a myth lasts with me. I knew. Thank you for my beautiful gift, Donald. Well, there's plenty more where that came from, baby. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter? Honey. Oh, no. They're gone. They are not gone. It is gone. Don't, don't move. Donald, just lean slowly away from me, and let's see if it falls to the floor. Nothing. I knew it! I knew it! Oh, Donald! Okay, honey. Oh! Let's see if maybe, maybe it fell off when we were first coming in. All right, now, honey, look, please don't go to pieces. Oh, sure, that's easy for you to say. You never had earrings this good. I told you they're insured. They can be replaced. I don't want them replaced. I want the ones you gave me. And an earring is an earring. That is a very childish attitude. <laughs> it's stuck in my dress. When you started to kiss me, maybe, maybe it just fell down. Let's see, you always, you always take your hand and put it around me like, like this. No, I don't. I put my hands down here. You do not. Honey, look, I didn't start kissing yesterday. I know how I make my move. <laughs> what kind of a thing is that to say? I was just tr trying to... Honey, anyway, it's not stuck to your dress. Now you miffed. No, no, I'm not. I'm angry. Oh, Donald. Not at you. It's your ridiculous luck. Look, I'll call the restaurant. They may have found it already. Aren't you going to kiss me goodnight? Well, I've considered it. And? I've decided on it. What's the matter? Now I forgot my move. Well, why don't you see what you can make up on the spur of the moment? <laughs> Well, look, will you check lost and found and call me back at the number I gave you? Thank you. Thanks very much. Tom, will you get a chance to read this article and get back to me? Yeah. Huh? Well, that covers all the bases. I can't think of anywhere else she might have lost it. Lost one. Her diamond earring. Who? Ann. Ann? Where did Ann get a diamond earring? I gave it to her for Valentine's Day. One for each ear. You gave Ann diamonds, real diamonds. Expensive ones. You know what I gave Ruth for Valentine's Day? Peanut brittle. She likes it fine. Oh, she's not gonna like it after Aunt tells her about your diamonds. Thank you, thank you very much for making my what's left of my marriage miserable. What are you talking about? The diamond? Diamonds are something you build up to over a period of years. You start with costume jewelry. Hmm? You want to splurge, be a big shot. You go to gold filth. When you're engaged, you go to all gold. Even when you first get married, you don't give diamond diamonds, just chips. Years of chips. It's an unwritten law with husbands. But I'm not a husband. Exactly. So what's Ruth gonna think? Anne's not married. She gets diamonds. I give Jerry the best years of my life. I get glazed nuts. <laughs> Don Hollinger speaking. Oh. Well, look, if any of your drivers should turn it in, will you please let me know? Yeah, well, th thank you. Thank you very much for checking. Yeah, bye. <coughs> Looks like a hopeless case. Insured? Yeah. Well, get her another earring. She doesn't want another one. She wants that one. The original has sentimental meaning for her. I can't give her another one. Unless I just gave her another one. You're rambling. Look, if I get Anne another earring and plant it in her apartment where she can find it, She'll think it's the original. Don, you wouldn't be going through all this aggravation and expense if you just used your head in the first place. What do you mean? She wouldn't care if she lost an earring made out of peanut brittle. She was very upset, so 
what she probably did is, is she probably, uh, she threw herself on the bed and she cried. <laughs> she wouldn't do that. Yeah, but what she did was, she probably took the other earring off and put it away. She'd get ready for bed. Yeah. So. For bed, I guess first she take off the hooks. <laughs> no, she should take off the shoes. <laughs> then the hose. <laughs> now she take off her dress. earring was stuck to the dress, it would probably fall somewhere in here. Sorry, I, I'm sorry. I, I, well, I, I was passing by and I dropped in. I thought I might cheer you up about the earring. Oh, please, don't, don't cheer me up or I'll start crying. You know, honey, I'll bet anything it's going to show up probably right here in the apartment. I'll bet it was stuck to your dress. Oh, Donald, I covered every inch of this place. And all I could come up with was 14 cents and a year's supply of bobby pins. Well, honey, look again. What have you got to lose? Now, when I left last night, you closed the door. And then you crossed over here, and you turned out the lamp, and then you went into the bedroom, right? Wrong. Then I went into the kitchen to get something for a splitting headache. <laughs> yeah, well, well, uh, well, after you got something for your headache, then at some point you went into the bedroom, right? Yeah, well, eventually. Okay, so you got into the bedroom, and you got ready for bed, and first... You took off your dress. No, first I took off my shoes. Oh, yeah, right, right. Yeah, I forgot. You know what? <laughs> well, well, you took off your dress. Well, no, no. Then I looked around for my slippers. I don't like to walk around in my stockings because stockings snag and they're very expensive. Well, when did you take off your dress? Well, probably before I got into the shower. Yeah, but now we're making some progress. So then you took off your dress and you tossed it over that stool. Oh, I don't throw my clothes around like that. I didn't say you threw your clothes around. All I meant was you, well, you were probably upset, the mood that you were in. No matter what mood I'm in, I always very carefully pick up my clothes and put them in my closet. That's my natural habitat. Habit. Habitat is where you live. So where I hang my clothes is where I live. <laughs> and a few kind words. The few kind words are for me. I could stab some kind words, too. I've got a cracked tooth. You have? Mm. How terrible. It sure is. What happened to you? You lost your job? Oh, worse. I lost one of my beautiful new earrings. What earrings? Hi. Oh, hi, Don. What earring? Listen, honey, I've got to get back to the office. Give another look. I've got a strange hunch you're going to find that earring. What earring? I'll see you later. Oh, bye, Donald. <laughs> I asked a question, I'll insist on an answer. What earrings? The beautiful new diamond earrings that Donald gave me for Valentine's Day. Diamonds? Real ones? Like with carrots and pear shapes? That kind. Do you know what I got for Valentine's Day? Peanut brittle. That's how I crack my tooth. <laughs> oh, Ruthie. Good old Diamond Jim Bauman thought he was getting off cheap. Little does he know he's gonna have to buy me a solid gold crown. <laughs> well, at least you can't lose a gold crown. But what can you do about a hopelessly lost diamond earring? Especially one of a pair that Donald spent way too much on in the first place. How much is too much? Oh, Ruthie, I don't like to say how much a present costs. We're friends who exchange intimate information. That's true. My peanut brittle costs $3.98. <laughs> well, 
for what the earrings cost, you could buy 40 pounds of peanut brittle and still have enough to afford to crack a couple of other teeth. <laughs> That's what I call a gift. So, if you don't want Don to spend any more money, buy another earring yourself. I can't. I already made such a big fuss about that I didn't want to replace the earring, that I had to have the original. Oh, I know what I could do. I could buy another one and then hide it in the apartment and say I found it here. Sure, that's a good idea. Oh, I can't. I can't even afford it. Yeah, that's right. Hey, wait a minute. I can so afford it. Huh. I'll take the money for the earring out of the money I've been saving for my taxes. Do you think you should? Oh, sure. I'd much rather go through life disappointing the government than Donald. <laughs> I got your message. What happened? Well, I think I got over my ear problem, Doctor. You found it. See, what did I tell you? Oh, I'm sorry I made such a big thing out of it. I always get so emotional. And you're so calm and so wonderful. And, and you were so sure it would show up in the end. And I looked again, just like you said. And you'll never guess where I found it. Now, I couldn't guess in a hundred years. Right there under that chair. How about <laughs> that chair? Yeah. Well, that's impossible. Huh? Uh, well, I, I mean, I mean, <laughs> I, I mean, what a place, a chair. <laughs> yeah, isn't that great? Well, I'm sorry we don't have any champagne, but how about some coffee to celebrate? Yeah, great, great, great. Uh, I'll, I'll just, uh, I'll put my coat in the bedroom. <laughs> I got it, honey. I am Marie's residence. Who? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Really? It, it, well, yeah. Well, I'll, 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 I'm sure she'll appreciate that. Uh, thanks for calling. Yes, thank you. Uh, that was the maitre d' from the restaurant we went to last night. He found your earring. <gasps> Great! <laughs> oh. Oh. Hey, you bought that other earring you're wearing, didn't you? Me? You, Anne-Marie, girl sneak. <laughs> you're miffed at me again. I think it's the most considerate thing I ever heard of. Great minds. With but a single thought. <laughs> You're kidding. You didn't. I did. Oh, Don. I'm very touched. And you know something? To show you how mature I've become, in spite of my insecurities, I'm going to wear these earrings and not give it a single thought. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Now I think we should celebrate all over again. I'm ready to buy you a very cheap lunch. Oh, okay. In that case, I'll just take these off. Well, wait a minute. You just said... Well, Donald, I don't mind going to a cheap restaurant. But I don't want anybody to think that these are rhinestones. <laughs> lost earring. Ah, oh, the poor thing. Bring it in. They found it near the bandstand. Oh, thank you, Donald. Oh, I've decided that we ought to return these and get our money back. I just don't feel right about having two pair. Why not? Well, it's probably something only a woman would understand, but having one pair of diamond earrings is, is something so special that it entitles you to show off a little. But two pair is like having a collection. And bragging about a collection is in the worst possible taste. <laughs> You're right. It's something only a woman can understand. 